Three men are behind bars tonight, charged in the murder of a man at a Little Rock gas station earlier this month. We're glad to have you with us tonight at 5. Everyone, I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Laura Monteverdi. On January 14th, two men were shot. One later died at the gas station on Canis Road. Our Alexis Wainwright has been following this story since it happened and joins us live with the latest. Alexis. Well, Bob and Laura, Little Rock Police announced the charges and arrest against this one man earlier today. Now, what we know is that several people who work and live in this area say they're surprised that a murder would happen in such a busy area like this. Now, the shooting happened right here behind me at this map code. But if you take a look right over here, you'll see several businesses in a crowded parking lot. People tell me tonight that they are relieved that those who are responsible for this are behind bars. I definitely feel safer, and I'm glad that the police were able to make an arrest. A sense of relief for restaurant manager Denisha Caffey. It's reassuring that they have gotten them off the streets. After LRPD arrested and charged all three men in the murder of Jacob Robinson Wednesday, 20-year-old Charles McCollum, 21-year-old Stacia Rice, and 21-year-old Anthony Williams Jr. <laughs> Caffey is a manager at Sims Barbecue, located right next to the Mapco gas station on Canis Road, where the shooting happened less than two weeks ago. It does affect the business, you know, when the, the crime rate is high. On January 14th, LRPD responded to a shots fire call and found a 59-year-old man shot. In one block away from the scene, they found 23-year-old Jacob Robinson shot. Both were taken to a hospital where Robinson later died. Caffey hopes that these arrests will make people feel safer and bring more business back to Sims Barbecue. It's very busy. We've been here for over 30 years in this location, um, and it gets pretty hectic here. So just to know that you can walk out and be safe is, 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 is gratifying. And police say that the other man that was shot is stable tonight. Meanwhile, Cecir is facing multiple charges, including capital murder and terroristic threats. Now, police say the investigation is ongoing and they're working with several local businesses in this area for surveillance video. Reporting live in Little Rock tonight, Alexis Wainwright, KRK4 News. Alexis, thanks very much. This, by the way, a development we first shared with you through our KRK smartphone app. To get breaking news alerts just like this one, download the app in the App Store or on Google Play.